Yo, everyone. I'm Kevin Shelley. I'm a writer with Play Pennsylvania. And yes, I was born in Philly. With me today is Live Casino Pittsburgh GM Sean Sullivan. He may be the most widely experienced senior exec in Pennsylvania gaming. He has 40 years in gaming. It includes stints with Howard Hughes Operation in Reno, stints in Tahoe, Colorado, the fans in Las Vegas, tribal gaming in the Midwest, clinical entertainment, and also a time at Penn National Meadows in Western Pennsylvania. The Cornish company recruited him to open the army, and that was the first of what will eventually be five mini casinos. Live Pittsburgh is located in what was a vacant mall space. Two more of the mini projects will also be in rehab mall space. So we hope to learn a little bit about what that experience is like. Anything you'd like to say uh, by way of introduction, Mr. Sullivan? No, thank you, uh, Kevin, for that introduction. And it's an honor to be with you to talk about these uh, interesting points. But uh, no, thank you. Okay. So let's get started with the one of the main reasons we thought you were the right person to spotlight. And that's your longevity. What's the secret for that? That's a good question, um, Kevin, and, and thank you for asking that. I have indeed been uh, in the industry for a long time. I came straight out of college. I'm in my 41st year. Um, I can tell you that being excited about coming to work every single day is part of that. I'm highly motivated because I enjoy the job. I enjoy interacting with customers, with our team members. Um, I haven't set an alarm clock in over 40 years. I wake up, I jump out of bed, I come to work because I can't wait to get here. And it's all about the good things that happen. Working with the Cordish family, for example, they built this beautiful facility here in Westmoreland as part of the Westmoreland Mall. It's called Live Casino Pittsburgh. And I got to tell you, the people that work for us are unbelievable, fantastic people. The people that visit us, the same thing. They're looking for entertainment. They're looking for a fun time. And to be able to deliver that is a fantastic opportunity. And I cherish that every day. Um, in addition, I think I've had tremendous opportunities over the years with mentors that gave me the excitement and the enthusiasm by their behaviors and the things that they've taught me. I've learned something every year new. I've never come to work and said, I've already experienced that. I already know all that. Every year I knew, learn new things. And uh, that's part of life, continuing your thirst and your journey for knowledge. So I enjoy that. Um, the industry is, is full of twists and turns and uh, challenges, but I gotta tell you, I, I really, yeah, I was raised in a competitive sports world, uh, born in Los Angeles, California, and uh, I love competing. I love doing the best we can for all shareholders, our, our owners, our guests, our employees, our Pennsylvania Game Control Board, our legislators. There's a lot of people where we affect uh, their environment. So being part of that is a, a huge responsibility. And I'm honored to be able to do it for this many years. What were the challenges of opening the first mini casino in PA? You didn't have a template to work from, per se. Um, nobody quite knew what a satellite casino was going to look like or what amenities it would have or not have. I, I haven't been there, but I'm told that you don't necessarily feel like it's a small casino inside. Run me through that a little bit. Yeah, I mean, mini casino is, is you know, probably not the most appropriate title because when people come to a casino, they don't necessarily roam the entire property anyway. I mean, at the MGM we opened in Las Vegas, it was huge. I mean, 5,000 hotel rooms, 3,500 slot machines, so on and so on. But people carve out their little comfort zones where they <laughs> like to play, right? Yeah. Some some pick near restrooms, some pick near 
uh, you know, the front entrance, some pick near the players club. So everybody is having a mini casino experience, if you will, will whether they're at a big property or not. Um, if anything, the opportunity we have with a smaller property, a category four property, is the intimacy, the energy. You know, when we uh, are busy, it's absolutely infectious with excitement and you hear people winning and you hear machines going off. Big casinos don't necessarily give you that experience. No. Maybe on a major holiday, right? Right. Um, but yeah, we're always, right now it's in the middle of a Thursday afternoon and I don't know if you can hear in the background, but when you look around, this place is uh, infectious with excitement. And people are coming here to get out of their day-to-day -day world to have some fun. The average wagers visits is 80 bucks, 75 to 80 bucks per visit and about an hour and a half. So they're coming here. They want this. They want the injection of energy. And a lot of properties can't provide that unless it's a weekend or a holiday. So we, uh, we happily take the Category 5 label, Category 4, I'm sorry, label and smaller property and, and we cherish it. It's very important. I, I used to be in Atlantic City and I would walk into some of the larger places in the afternoon and my goodness, uh, it was a sea of empty tables. So I understand exactly what you're talking about. That's right. It's like going into a restaurant. You always feel better if the tables are full. And if you have too big of a restaurant, you're just not going to have the same amount of you know, full tables. So perception is important. And uh, we love it. We think it's great. Our employees love it. There's uh, guests that would go no place other than here. So, nope, we're happy with it. And what was it like to create a space in a uh, already defined space, uh, an empty mall anchor store spot? What were the challenges and what were the um, problems, if any, with doing sure. that? You know, the, the, I have to give all credit and props to the Cordish family. They're developers, right? They're, um, they've done this in Maryland with the Anne Arundel Mall. And when they came out here, they, they see a vision that not most people do, right? They saw an old Bon Ton building and they thought, what a fabulous opportunity. It's a community, Westmoreland County and fields that needs jobs, that needs tax revenues, that needs uh, reasons for people to stay in the community and not leave it as soon as they graduate high school. So when they see that, they see the community need and their ability to come to this market as a welcome entity. Um, they designed this building and this building was not easy. When you take an old building um, and build into it, it's a different approach. It's different than building from the ground up. Um, but they've, did a, they've done a fabulous job. The thing I hear all the time is people saying, oh my gosh, I can't believe that this was the old Bonton building, right? Sure. So there's no question, all props and credits to them. They didn't skimp on anything. It's as good looking as a casino to find anywhere in the country. Um, and for sure in, a, in the you know, Pennsylvania area, um, but that's about designs, that's about visions, that's about a family that is gonna do the right thing for the community.